Primal Kyogre is coming back to raids in Pokemon Go on March 17th for a three-hour raid day event between 2 to 5 p.m. local time. So if you need that Primal Energy, a good Primal Kyogre, or the Shiny, this is definitely the time to go out and hunt it, especially the Shiny, because it will have those boosted Shiny odds. All right, I'm going to quickly go over the event details, and then we will get to the tips for defeating Primal Kyogre. So for this event, we will get the usual raid day bonuses of five additional daily raid passes from spinning photo discs at gyms, an increased Shiny rate for Kyogre. This usually means a rate of one in 10 and Primal Kyogre will be appearing more frequently in raids, meaning every gym will have a Primal Kyogre raid. And the remote raid limit will be increased to 20 from Saturday, March 16th at 5 p.m. to Sunday, March 17th at 8 p.m. Pacific time. So make note of that. That was not your local time for the remote raid limit increase. It was listed in Pacific time specifically. There will also be the standard $5 USD event ticket that will get you some more bonuses if you purchase it. And those bonuses will be active from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m on the event day and with that you will get eight additional raid passes from spinning photo discs and gyms, an increased chance to get rare candy XL, as well as 50% more XP and two times Stardust from defeating raid battles. The question then is, is Primal Kyogre worth that $5 ticket? Now, of course, if you really like this Pokemon or you really want the shiny, then it might be worth it to you. But in terms of meta relevancy, let's take a look. Primal Kyogre has the base stats of 353 for attack, 268 for defense, 218 for stamina, and a max CP of 6,672. So it is a pretty beefy Mon in its primal form. Now in terms of raids, it is the number one water type raid attacker by far. The problem is you don't need one of those too often. So if you're looking to spend your hard earned remote raid passes for the most useful raid attacker, wait for Primal Groudon's raid day the following weekend and stick to in-person ones for Primal Kyogre. Also the signature move Origin Pulse is needed for it to hit that ultra high DPS, which it probably won't have as they did not advertise it in the blog or Twitter post. So you would need to use an elite TM to get that legacy move. However, Primal Kyogre does still outrank any other water type as a raid attacker, just not by as much as it does with Origin Pulse. Now in terms of PvP, regular Kyogre ranks number 24 in the Master League, but again you do want the signature move Origin Pulse for it to perform best, but Surf and Hydro Pump would probably be the next best choice if you don't want to use an Elite Charge TM. Alright, if you're out there doing a lot of Kyogre raids, you are going to want to watch out for those Hundo CPs, and in terms of Hundo CPs for Kyogre from raids, you're going to want to look out for 2,351 in non-boosted weather and 2,939 in boosted weather. And of course, because it is a water type, that boosted weather is going to be rainy weather. Now, because this is a primal raid, you are going to want to get as much primal energy as possible, which means you're going to want to use your best counters to take Kyogre down as quickly as possible. Now, as a strictly water type Pokemon, Primal Kyogre is weak to both grass and electric. So some of your top counters are going to include Mega Sceptile, Mega Rayquaza, just because he hits so hard with that Dragon Ascent move, Artana, Zekrom, Mega Venusaur, Shadow Raikou, Zerud, Circuitry, Mega Minatric, and Shadow Tangro. Now, if you don't have some of those top counters and you're looking for some more budget options, you can go with Chestnut, Roserade, and Decidueye with their grass movesets, or Magnezone with its electric moveset. Now, if you still need more Pokemon after that to fill out your team, then just put in your highest CP Pokemon that have grass or electric type moves, preferably Pokemon that are also grass or electric typing, as that means they will get Stab, which if you don't know is same type attack bonus. So when a Pokemon uses an attack that is the same type as it, it gets a little bonus to its attack damage. Now these will be Primal Kyogre raids. So unlike the Hisuian starters we had before in raids, these ones will be much harder to take down. So I do recommend using a Mega that will take down Primal Kyogre quickly, as that will also get you the most amount of Primal energy. However, if you have a very big team and you don't think you need that, you could also go with a Primal or Mega to get you the most amount of candies. And in that case, your options would include Mega Blastoise, Mega Slowbro, Mega Gyarados, Mega Swampert, and of course, Primal Kyogre itself. All right, let's jump into a couple tips here. And the first one is to use party play if you're out playing with your friends. So start a party and that will get you that party power bonus, which gets you double charged attack damage when it is powered up. And the more people you have in your party, the quicker that party power bonus will party up and the more people you will have doing that double charged attack damage when it is powered up. Now, if you don't have any friends to go out and raid with, consider finding a group online. So you can look at places like Discord, Facebook, and Reddit. Just search your local town name plus Pokemon Go, and you can generally find a raid group there to join. I've also got a tip here to get you one more bonus raid in addition to any of the bonus daily passes that you're getting from the event bonuses or the ticket bonuses, and that is to stack a daily pass from the day before. So if you don't know, you can carry over 
one daily pass from the day before to the next day, then you use that carried over daily pass and you can continue getting all your regular daily passes, including all the bonus ones, either from the event or from the ticket. And keep in mind that for this season, we actually get two daily passes per day for the entire season. So that means you could still do a raid the day before and then save that second pass until the next day. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more Pokemon Go news, tips, and live streams. If you want more Pokemon Go content right now, check out one of the videos on screen. Happy hunting. I hope you get that Shundo Kyogre and we'll see you in the next one, friends. Something incredibly funky.